get back on then? Very good question. It feels insane. It's something that you have to experience to know the feeling. It's like you have not been home for three years and you're finally home and it just feels right. That's how it feels. Hey guys. Okay. <laughs> hey Mario, you want to say hi to my vlog? Come. <laughs> nice. <laughs> it's so heavy. Okay, it is my like face <laughs> in this? I'm. I think I'm really close. Yes. <laughs> When was the last time you played a LAN tournament? 2019 September. I feel old and wise now. This is a puzzle. It's my earring and it's like really complicated to put it in. It's just struggling. <laughs> being a part of the very first Game Changers Champions is like you're being a part of history. And now it's time to win it so you can be the history, right? And we are into it. Icebox, the first map of X10 versus G2, a chance to face off against Cloud9 or an early lower bracket awaiting them. Got a little ahead of themselves off that, but this is that mid lurk, an excellent player over here for X10, but gets caught on the timing. Glance and Petra pick up a couple and the round immediately back in G2's hand huge in this round and now holding down hiding behind that wall she has the time find a gap and exploit alert which generally they're pretty good at and i think actually one of the, the biggest benefits you get with something like the fade on this defensive side as opposed to a sofa is like the double okay. cat the two players you want sort of fighting forward didn't find that angle it's going to be mimi for two make it a third you cannot pick it past her the 3k already in the round Chance to swing back into the team. Mary finds one, Mary finds two. G2 take the series. We have been aware the full year that C9 would be like the game for us to play, right? Knowing that it was already close from the start really actually gave me personally a confidence boost that they're not like stomping us. They're not gonna do that at all. So many conversations around who's the best team in Game Changers and we have two pillars as teams being Cloud9 and G2 and this is finally the time to see which one of these pillars is going to start to crumble down. This is gonna be a big battle on tree but we have a perfect crossfire and it works out for one for one and it's a one for Giuliano to capitalize on a second and a res available. Only one left on the defense. Bob knows exactly where the last two players are at, but Giuliano goes to work. And this round, important, but it's not gonna work out. It's clean so far for C9, a three versus one. Glance has to pop off, but it's Mel instead. And C9 win the first map 13 to seven. The most important thing, uh, what we learned from the previous, previous match, we need to take our time. We're so good at like taking space, as, as I thought yesterday, taking space, playing with the slow, like not over extending and no, not over reacting like to stuff happening on the map. BDSing with the shock oh, dart, Katsuma gets the kill, but that's Giuliano also at orange. She had a great spot in the fourth position, looks for the last two. As somehow the communication wasn't there, somehow Giuliano gets a four key into the round and the Red Bull clutch. The third kill into the round, 10 HP left, and the Viper's been available, trying to get the kill, but it's still gonna be glass. Redemption comes in as G2 brings this to a third map. Julia is very confident on Euro, and Julia is a very smart player, and you need to be smart to be able to pull off a Euro, because you need to trick their minds and she's the perfect person for that. People will know how we play so we need to do something like we need to spice it up a little bit to be unpredictable. Third and final map of this series to see which team is going down to the lower brackets. Is it C9 or G2? And we're about to find out with G2 on the attack. Jig is up though. Here comes the flank from Giuliano. Takes down Mel and the fight comes in towards the staircase. Katsumu with the right clicks onto Mimi for the Sage Dip. We're Ooh. starting on to the defuse, but it's G2 all over the scoreboard with Glance on the last kill. Okay, so the sound cues are there for Cloud9. They've heard everything, oh. but Mimi. Oh. Only one kill away from getting an ult, but instead it's just going to be another wall to try to cross over. But this is, should have a gap. 
Oh my. Ah, she's looking for the last kill. It's gonna be Mel. Only with oh, the Guardian. Oh, she gets it! The quad kill for the Diffuse! And did that Mantula drift on top of that to get all that information? Alexis at least gets the kill off the glass, but the push out, there's no time! Jimmy, Jimmy comes out to get the